What's going on YouTube? JT is born here and welcome back to another edition of my Godzilla comic book reviews. And in this video, we're going to talk about Godzilla Rivals versus Manda. This is the latest in the Godzilla Rivals series, which has been a very fun comic book series because it's all basically anthology stuff. So they'll tell you one story and it just, you never know exactly what type of Godzilla story you're going to get. You get some very creative plot lines. This one actually kind of takes it back to being something a lot more simple. Uh, this one is the story and art and lettering done by Jake Lawrence, designed by Nathan Wittick and editor Jake Williams. So this one is basically about a fishing crew that is out in the Indian Ocean off the coast of Australia. Uh, they're doing various fishing stories, and one of them tells a story about a giant sea monster he came across, which was Gazora, and how they barely managed to survive. Uh, one of the other boats that's kind of out there with them doing fishing kind of disappears, and so they go to investigate, and basically what they find is a shipwreck, and they manage to save the guy, and it turns out it was taken down by Manda, and basically when it comes to this whole thing with Manda, everyone's kind of in danger, but Godzilla comes in to fight him and it's just them trying to find a means to survive. And Godzilla is portrayed a lot more heroically this time around. He's not very antagonistic towards people. He's, he's a little bit indifferent. Like, he knows they're there, but he's not really going to inflict any sort of harm on them. And, you know, eventually the crew uh, makes their way out to try and survive. And that's basically the story in a nutshell. It's a lot more simplistic. The art style kind of feels reminiscent more of, like, a children's book. You get very large kind of, like, white lettering. So this one feels definitely geared towards a lot younger readers compared to some of the other Godzilla rival storylines. And I did kind of appreciate its simplicity. We get some nice looking uh, artwork that showcases the fights between Godzilla and Manda. So some of that stuff is really cool. And there's some good aspects to it for sure. So, I mean, if you want something a little bit more simple or and, you know, kind of less kind of like crazy with its plots, then this is one to kind of do it. It's a simple fight between Godzilla and Manda and there's some good aspects to it for sure. So, yep. Well, uh, yeah, I think that's all I really have to say about this particular issue. Uh, what did you think of it? Post your comments down below. Be sure to like this video, share it with your friends, subscribe to the YouTube channel for more content, hit that bell for notifications, and uh, yeah, uh, that's really all I have to say about this one. Like I said, it's a very simple storyline. Artwork feels definitely more geared towards the younger readers, and I think the simplicity kind of works in this case, and you, you don't always have to do something super crazy. You can just kind of have something simple with, you know, an atmospheric uh, storm-based storyline that feels kind of more younger reader-friendly. So sometimes I'm okay with that. So, yeah. All right, well, that's all I have to say. As always, take care now. Bye-bye then, and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace out.